Hey everybody, so a little different video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I color grade my Canon Log 3 footage. So on the Canon R6, they have given us a firmware update to get Canon Log 3 on the Canon R6. So I did that update about five or six months ago and I've been shooting a ton of video in Canon Log 3 and I love it. So the benefit of shooting in a log format is you're gonna get more dynamic range, which allows you to keep more detail in the highlights and the shadows when you're shooting footage. So it's kind of like a raw image where you're able to bring back the shadows or the highlight detail when you're editing that footage or that photo. So Canon Log 3 comes in really handy when I'm doing a run and gun shoot, which most weddings are run and gun. I don't set up any of my shots. I'm just kind of following the bride and groom throughout the day, through the ceremony and into the reception. So it comes in really handy with the variety of lighting situations that you are running into um, when you're shooting a wedding film or just footage in general. So we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my footage. So hopping into this first clip, I've got two clips on my timeline here. Um, I've already clipped them to the sections that I want them on. Um, so I got one from a wedding and I've got one from a recent stay down in Arkansas of a bald eagle. So to go to, with the first clip here, I always start with having the clip on the timeline of the section that I want. I already have it stabilized. Um, it was a little shaky because it was windy that day. So first step is creating a adjustment layer. And so I created an adjustment layer that I can drop over the clip. So I'm not actually putting any of the color grading onto the clip. It's on a layer that I can toggle on and off. So make sure it's highlighted here. And then I have a LUT that I use that's in my files and it's a Canon log, um, C-Log Direct 709 LUT that I got off the Canon website for the Canon Log 3. So that kind of gives you a, a nice base to start with. As you can see, this is the raw file here. This is the Canon Log 3. And then once we put that Rec 709 on there, it kind of adds the color and some contrast in there. And then from there, I go into my creative section over here and go to looks. And I have on file some LUTs that I like to use to add a little more character to the clip. So I will go ahead and load one of those up. I'm just gonna grab a random one here. And now you can see that it adds a lot of color saturation. And from there, you can make adjustments in the intensity slider here to kind of like lessen how harsh it might be. Cause as you can see, you can, you can overdo this. Just like editing a photo, you can overdo it. Um, typically with these, I kind of go around 60 to 50, depending on the clip, it depends on the lighting. But that's just a basic way of how I do my weddings. Um, it obviously will depend on um, the lighting situation if it's gonna be sunny and stuff so you kind of have to watch your white balance and stuff But luckily the auto white balance on the Canon R6 is pretty spot-on. This is what it looked like that day It was a uh, cold and cloudy um, So it kind of worked out, but you can adjust and warm it up cool it down whatever you want um, So that was the that's a basic color grade for Canon Log 3 um, So let's hop into this second clip here I'm gonna create another adjustment layer so I don't copy the last one over. So I'll drag that over, cover that clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that LUT, the Rec 709 that I have. <clears throat> and then I'll jump down to the creative slider here. We'll get that in there. I'll throw the same one that I had on the wedding. As you can see, the white balance is a little off here it's a little green pull that over to the red off to the pink a little bit you know you can keep adjusting all of this you can add some contrast 
<clears throat> kind of just until you get it the way you want it to look. But this was a cloudy morning, really early morning um, down in Arkansas. So yeah, you can mess with intensity. You also have faded film that kind of like softens it but it kind of washes out the shadow, so I don't use that. Um, you could sharpen it if you need to. I usually don't sharpen it because I want it a little softer already. I use diffusion filters for that reason. So yeah, very simple. You can overdo it. You obviously want the clip to be at an overall good starting point with your exposure, but that's the basis of how I color grade my footage. I don't do too a lot. I don't do a lot to it. I just kind of get it where it looks more lifelike, um, how it looked that day um, whenever I was shooting. So let's play these back so you guys can see the whole clip now. I'll toggle off. Boom. Looks so good. I really love Canalog 3. Let's jump over to this eagle. The eagle is just perched up on the tree. That's off. We'll toggle on. Boom. Really love how this came out. Shooting the log is so beneficial. <clears throat> well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or suggestions as I'm learning day to day with this stuff, leave it in the comments below. I appreciate if you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.